Welcome to our Stowe Talks how-to series. I'm Joanna Dale, an associate at Stowe Family Law, and in this video we will look at how you apply for and obtain a financial consent order. As part of the divorce process, it is crucial to reach a financial settlement with your ex-partner that outlines how assets and debts will be split, any maintenance paid, and end your financial relationship. It is also important to make this agreement legally binding by applying for and obtaining a financial consent order from the family court. A financial consent order is a legal order made by the court. It makes the financial agreement you have reached with your ex-partner during a divorce legally binding. Financial consent orders set out the overall financial agreement that you have reached with your partner on the division of the marital assets. The order can cover what will happen to certain assets, such as the matrimonial home or other property, savings and investments, pensions, or any other capital assets you may have. They can also cover what will happen with regards to maintenance and include other agreements reached, such as what will happen to the contents of the family home, cars, jewellery, and other items. In some cases, if appropriate, the order can simply say that neither party has any current or future financial claim against the other's income and assets and achieve what is often referred to as a clean break. You need a financial consent order because it is important to ensure that all your financial claims you and your ex-spouse have as a result of being married are dealt with. If finances are not dealt with alongside the divorce process, then financial claims between you and your ex-spouse can remain open. This means either party could potentially make a claim in the future if one person's financial position changes, for example, if one party receives an inheritance or wins the lottery. Obtaining a financial consent order will set out how your finances are dealt with and dismiss future claims. Before you can apply for a consent order, you will need to have started the divorce proceedings. It is highly recommended that parties have engaged in full and frank financial disclosure so they know each other's financial positions and also what matrimonial assets and financial resources there are in full. Then you must have agreed with your ex-partner about how your finances will be dealt with. This can be achieved by direct discussions between parties or, if that does not work, there are alternative dispute resolution methods such as mediation, solicitor negotiation, arbitration and collaborative law that can be used. Failing that, an application to initiate financial proceedings in the family court can be made to seek the assistance of the court in deciding how your finances should be divided. However, it is advisable to try and reach an agreement outside of court and the majority of cases do not go to court. You cannot apply for a financial consent order until you have received your conditional order from the court in your divorce proceedings. You apply for a financial consent order by filing a number of documents at court. You will need to complete and file an application referred to as a notice of an application for a financial order, a form A, the draft financial consent order. If applicable to the agreement you have reached, you may need to file a pension sharing annex and a court form called a statement of information, often referred to as a D81. A family lawyer will be able to assist you with completing and drafting all of these documents for you. There is also a court fee of £53 payable to the court on filing the documents. Once your documents have been sent to the court, they will then be referred to a judge for review and consideration and hopefully approved. When you submit a financial consent order, it will be reviewed by a judge in private, so you will not need to go to court if it is approved. If a judge has any questions about the consent order before approving, there is a possibility they may list a hearing to seek further clarification from you and your partner, so you may then need to go to court. However, this is not very common and a family lawyer would be able to advise you further should this happen. Financial consent orders are important because you want to ensure that all financial claims that you have as a result of being married are dealt with. And unless provided for in the consent order, there are no future claims that can be made against each other. 
if your agreement is not legally binding and a court cannot enforce it if there are issues later on. Once your financial consent order is granted, you will need to take steps to ensure that the order is implemented. For example, you may need to sell the matrimonial home and divide the proceeds of sale as per the consent order. The importance of legal advice. It is important to speak to a family lawyer because they will be able to guide you through the process and assist with drafting a financial consent order. They can advise you on your position as to what possible settlement options may look like. If you have engaged in full and frank financial disclosure, a family lawyer should be able to advise you on whether the agreement is fair and reasonable and meets both parties' needs. For more Stowe Talks, how-to videos and further free resources, visit stowefamilylaw.co.uk forward slash support.